Today, I'm going to show you how to create the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde transformation potion. The things we will need for our Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde potion is one boiling flask, and I am using a 250 milliliter version, and I'm using a black rubber cork. We will need some rubbing alcohol. We will need some folk art color shift acrylic paint, and I am using emerald flash and grain flash. We will need some black acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and our label printed on printable vinyl, and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take some of our black acrylic paint, and we are going to dry brush half of this bottle, so it gives a kind of effect that the bottle has a transformation to it as well, you know, for the two halves of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and I want the Hyde side to be a little bit darker, um, dirty, dingy, whatever it may be, but I kind of want it to have a different look than the Dr. Jekyll side. So we're just going to take our brush and dry brush half of this. Okay, so now that half of our bottle has this aged, dirty, darker look to it, we're going to go ahead and let this dry completely before we finish our bottle. Okay, now that this is dry, I'm going to go ahead and take my cork off. And again, I am using a black rubber cork, and um, I picked up a big package of these that came in a variety of sizes, and I will put a link in the description down below to those. But I really like them because they're going to um, work really well for potions that we don't want to encapsulate the cork when we're using alcohol. And um, it will also help with uh, reducing the amount of evaporation in some of those as well. So I'll put a link down below. They also come in white if you're interested. But yeah, I thought these were really great and pretty affordable. So... Now we're going to go ahead and fill up our potion with our alcohol. Okay, so I didn't want to fill this up all the way because I want it to be able to shake up and swirl really well. And I also just wanted it to give kind of that partially filled look. Um, so I think this is a good level. I'm going to then take some of my flash paint. This is the emerald flash. And I'm going to put more of this than I am of the green flash because I want it to be a little bit darker green. I don't want it to be a light green. And then we're going to take just a little bit of the green flash. And we're going to cork this up. And give it a shake. And as you can see, we got a really great green color that gives a really nice swirling effect when it is shaken up or swirled. Okay, so now that we have our potion in there and it's colored, we're gonna go ahead and take our label. And again, I printed this one on printable vinyl versus the sticker paper because the vinyl can somewhat stretch. You'll still get wrinkles and things like the paper, but it, not as much. And on this round bottle, this is going to be a little bit easier to work with. So that's why I chose to do this. You can definitely still use the sticker paper. You can use the Mod Podge. Whatever you want to use to adhere your label will be just fine. I just find that you get a few less creases with the vinyl on these rounded bottles versus the sticker paper. So I'm going to peel the backing paper off. And again, I went around the outside edge of this with a matching marker. And for this one... I'm going to kind of put it towards the top of the round curve here. And if nothing else, try to get as few wrinkles in the Dr. Jekyll side as possible so that the Mr. Hyde side is the side that has some of the wrinkles and maybe is a little bit more worn looking um, to kind of go with the personality of Mr. Hyde.
And once we get our label on, there you have it, our Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde potion that goes from light to dark. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection of making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.